Cuda.com in the game of the week, landing up in the Hereford zone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Booker Corrigan alongside inside the cross writer Ty Sanders. Great matchup tonight, Ty. Loyola comes up to visit Hereford. Let's talk about these two teams. For Loyola Booker, you know, these are hard workers with less big names than usual, but that means nothing. It's a program with phenomenal coaches and tradition. It's almost like an assembly line, really. It's a tag line of Devin McNamara, Kevin Jackson, Tyler Llewellyn. Been very productive so far. Two sophomores in the first line, led by number one sophomore Ryan Conrad, flanked by senior Tim Nordbrook. Very strong with the face-off X with Hopkins, Signe, Kevin O'Toole. In general, they play smart, disciplined, fundamental across. Should be an exciting game. And that is certainly Loyola's trademark for Hereford. They have offensive firepower in the form of number two midfielder Jack Adams, as well as star attackman number 26, Joe Sider. Another guy we're gonna keep our eye on, number four attackman Jason Ashwood. He's only a junior, but he can make things happen with and without the ball and in the cage tonight for the Hereford Bulls Connor Cunningham he's a Hofstra commit he carried this team to their win over Gilman last week and he's certainly going to need to be able to be on his game if Hereford wants to take it to the Don Diego's here on Cooter.com we'll be back with the opening faceoff right after this first quarter of tonight's game brought to you by the Baltimore Crabs Lacrosse Club Pleasure to have the Baltimore Crabs back on board. Make sure you investigate your option and chance to participate in their top prospect camp. And club coaches always looking at that crab feast as a great summer option. Hereford and Loyola set to go up here in the Hereford zone. Joe Sider up on the wing for the Hereford Bulls and Loyola wins the first possession. This is Kevin Jackson, number five, gets it behind to Devin McNamara, and they're also Tyler Munz, excuse me, Tyler Llewellyn. And a quick turnover for the Bulls. Josh Reeder getting it. Here's Jack Adams, number two. We talked about him in the open tie. He's going to set the pace offensively for the Bulls. He is their stud in midfield. Watched him on film a lot these last few weeks, and he sort of reminds me a little bit of John Rannigan for Johns Hopkins, although I must say he's a better shooter. <laughs> um, but he gets things going from midfield. And one of those things we talk about a lot, Ty, is the development or the reemergence of the two-way midfielder for 10 years. It kind of went away a little bit as specialists were developed. But now with the rule changes, we're back to the two-way midi. And we love that here at CUDA.com. And also Coach King saying that Jack Adams has done a great job on face-offs. They graduated their Fogos. They threw him in there, experimented there, and he's done a very good job. Had a nice outing against St. Paul's in that loss, but uh, Here, sets the tone for them for the X. Here's Sider matched up against the short stick, Ryan Conrad. Sider comes up, bounce shot, no good. Hereford possession. Referees for tonight's game. Derek Smalls jumping in, along with David St. Hubbins, and of course, Jeremy Beckwith. Hereford in their home, white, Loyola, that traditional blue uniform. Happy 83rd birthday to treasured Loyola alumnus, Big George Corrigan. Errant pass, and the Dons look to just let it roll out, and it's gonna be Loyola possession. And playing high school rules. They do get a horn there on the sideline. You can see Loyola McNamara is ready for a quick restart. And you won't see that a whole lot this year. I can see those rules much more on Kudla.com. We're used to playing those NCAA rules in the MAA. But when Loyola plays those public school teams, Federation rules. Pass on the inside, no good. Loyola corrals it. And it's back with Tim Nordbrook. Nordbrook, number nine, dodges right-handed inside feed. Another turnover. Both teams trying to fight to get their sea legs right now. And really the keys to the game for these two teams aren't very different. Protect the ball because both have very capable offenses. 
and they can fill up a stat sheet. Talking to Coach King today, he knows that Loyola will make things happen when they have the ball. So he wants smart, methodical possessions, no one-two pass possessions. Jason Ashwood behind the cage to shift the attackman for the Bulls. Gets his right hand free. Shot just low, backed up by Sider. Joe Sider and Jack Adams, the two pillars of this Bull offense, both committed to Towson. And both participate for that Maryland Rough Riders lacrosse club. You gotta love those Rough Riders. Bounce shot by Cherubelli. Cherubelli, their speedster on offense, one of the fastest guys, Coach King says, the program's had. Tough little guy, improved his shooting percentage. Also a Towson commit, one of three tire commits for the pair for Bulls. Low feet, great save on the inside. Nice job by AC Newton making the save. 8.20 left, first quarter. First quarter brought to you by the Baltimore Crabs Lacrosse Club. Make sure you check out their top prospect camp. And also a quick thank you for the support and sponsorship of BD Diagnostics. Adams runs hard lefty. Underneath, Ashwood shot, nice save, Newton. Newton shrugs that one off and controls the rebound. And here's Bennett Bradley for the Dons. Bradley looking to split the attack ride. Sider gets a piece of him. The years Loyola team very tough and Bennett Bradley the poster boy for that mindset headed off to Army to serve this country in our future. Very tough player, takes face offs, plays D midi, solid shooter as Cunningham corrals the ball there and clears. Inside feed no good and here's Cherubelli. Cherubelli in transition, little shake and bake shot deflected on its way and Newton gets it for the Dons. Long feed and McNamara tries to get it. Eli Hess applying a little bit of pressure. Sort of misjudged that bounce there, it looked like. Maryland with, excuse me, Loyola with that new turf facility. Target and field, now an AstroTurf surface. One of the better venues in all of high school across, just a very Picturesque backdrop. Hess on the clear gets it to Adams. Six and a half minutes remaining first quarter. Yet to see a goal. You feel the emphasis that both teams are putting on this game, even though it's an out of conference matchup. Both guys want to get it. Hereford taking down Gilman last week. Huge win for the program. I think when you're Hereford, you know, obviously you want to win a state championship, but this is almost like their Super Bowl. They play they play Gilman, they play St. Paul's Loyal this year. Those are all schools that every lacrosse fan knows about, and they want to put them their team on the map. And they did that last week against Gilman, beating the number six team in the country. Going two and one against the big boys, that's uh, that's huge, the program. Hereford and coach Brian King, of course, no stranger to state championships. They've been winning state championships here ever since the Matt Dusick and Rustin Bryant years. Not too long ago, Book. Don't make me feel old. Well, Dusick, I think, is now 35, <laughs> Bryant 40. So they certainly, guys who graduated in the mid-70s, Dusick and Bryant. And when I say 70s, I mean 2010. And the, the senior class for Hereford, they're 59-4 uh, and four in their careers. That's not too bad. Early slide by Hereford's defense. Cross-crease pass shot. 
wrestled off. Great save by Connor Cunningham. Kevin Jackson with the shot. Nice feed by Devin McNamara. And that's something you'll see a whole lot of in the Loyal offense. They love the skip pass, catch the defense off guard, and sling it. Just under five minutes remaining here. Loyola Road Blues. Hereford early slide. Great defense, but oh, Cunningham bails him out on the inside shot. And there's no doubt Cunningham has been their MVP this year. Two big saves early for the Hofser commit. 17 saves against Gilman. Conrad exchanges with Jackson. Jackson slips. Conrad comes up with a loose change. Tries to go cross crease, picked off by Reeder. Defense to offense. Here's Sider at the point. Gets it back to the midfielder, but Wassum unable to do much with it as that Loyola defense got back in a hurry. Sider now matched up against Ryan Conrad. Shot and a nice save. That is just AC Newton gobbling one up. Not a bad time to sling one there if you're Joe Sider. Start generating some offensive shots. We saw the Bulls there slow things down. Didn't want to pull the trigger in transition, but that's something they will have to do to win today. Loyola's too disciplined when there's six on six defense. Tim Nordbrook shares it with Conrad across the top as we creep towards the three minute mark. First quarter brought to you by the Baltimore Crabs. And we still, Connor Cunningham looks like he's gonna be the Under Armour All-American underclassman player of the game. And he gobbles that one up cleanly. Right on cue. Ball jumps out of the stick of Connor Williams. And Loyola's second chance offense could be key as this game evolves tonight. Nordbrook, patient behind the cage, gets it over to McNamara. McNamara with an under move on Reeder. Early slide from Hereford. Ball goes on the turf. The loose ball push is going to give the ball back over to Loyola. And McNamara resets. McNamara comes around, shot high and wide. Knocked to the turf there. You see some of that physical nature of the Hereford team. They pride themselves on great defense. Shot outside of the net, rebound McNamara. And here's Nordbrook, nifty little move on the inside, shot goal. And with that, Loyola goes up 1-0, and Booker wins the race to nifty. 2.17 left in the first quarter, tie. If you get up here in the Hereford zone, you know I'm going to pull it out. That's all right, Booker. I'll shake it off. I'll overcome. Live the fight another day. Love that individual effort there by Nordbrook. Always important to have that senior sort of lead the way when you have a younger unit. Really picked it up there and sent it home. Nice play there by the senior. Adams on the face-off logo. Loyola comes up the loose ball. Here's McNamara. McNamara and Reeder are going to know each other fairly well by the end of tonight. A terrific matchup here. McNamara, one of the better quarterbacks around. He's had an orchestrator from behind. Headed off to Villanova next year. You contain him, and that's a huge part of the ball game. Minute and a half left, first quarter. One nothing, your score here at Hereford. Thanks for making CUDA part of your sports viewing day. Cunningham making an effort to win that race. Ball remains Loyola's possession. CUDA.com bringing you great high school lacrosse action all spring long. We haven't even gotten into the MIAA games. Just barely April. Whether you couldn't tell. And great defense by Reeder. 
You see good footwork by him as McNamara is driving at him. Good back pedal. Attribute that to the great coaches up here at Hereford. Coach Brian King always assembles a tremendous staff. Shot doesn't make it. Eli Hess comes up with the rebound. Clean scoop by Hess. Goes cross field to Reeder. And Reeder with the clear. And we get a timeout by Coach Brian King. First quarter brought to you by the Baltimore Crabs Lacrosse Club. Check out their top prospect camp. Great way for rising eighth graders and rising ninth graders to get on the map and see how well you assimilate into the top level of lacrosse. Baltimore Crabs Lacrosse Club. Jack Adams brings it in for Hereford. 35 seconds left first quarter. Bulls yet to break through this Loyola defense. And they're gonna reset it all the way back up to Adams. <laughs> John Bauer now gets it. Adam Cherubelli and Adams exchange up top. Adams gets a step, wants his right, spins back to the left shot. Wrestled off, nice save by A.C. Newton. Three seconds in the quarter, feeds it over to Sider, shot doesn't make it. And that'll do it for the first quarter, one nothing. Loyola, the visitor with a one goal lead over Hereford, second quarter right after this.